Hello, welcome back. I'm Adam, and this is Slaughterhouse Customs No Nonsense Tutorials. Today, we're going to be checking out the SHC T25 Land Rover. I wonder if I can blind you with that. That's probably really annoying. T25 <laughs> Mirror, Land Rover Mirror Kit. Let's bit it. Are you having problems keeping it up? Does it not stay strong and stable, just like it used to 30 years ago? Are things getting a little, how should I put this, droopy? I am, of course, talking about T25 mirrors that have a tendency to sort of flop around in the wind. Oh God, I've ruined someone's mirror setup. Now, of course, we did solve this problem before, uh, not with a little blue pill, but with the beautiful SHC truck mirrors, just like this. But we're not fitting SHC truck mirrors. We are fitting the very lovely SHC T25 Land Rover mirrors, which are significantly more stable than uh, the original Volkswagen counterpart. So without further ado, let's fit it. All you're gonna need is a crosshead screwdriver right here, your kit, and a Allen key of the number four variety. Fantastic, let's go. Right, step one, nice and easy. Grab your crosshead screwdriver and whap these bad boys off to remove your original mirrors. Collect your uh, Land Rover arm here and here is your mirror. In the base of it, there is a ball holder, uh, you could call it. <laughs> that sits nicely in there to give you a nice range of movement. Now we do, you should take your clamp, whap that in there. Pop this in, like so. So that locks in there after you screw it in with the uh, screw provided, and off you go. God, it's warm, it's warm today. Tropical. Right, so now we have our mirror assembled. We get our stainless steel bracket, and we simply, oh look, we gonna do it like this, look. Hold this up, which way is this gonna go? A bit like that, and then screw in, once again, with the screws provided. I really could have done this on the table out there, and it would have been simpler. But I wanted to be out in the sunshine where I can sweat more. I did just make the mistake of um, putting this bracket on here first and then going, how on earth does that fit to that? Right, I've done this wrong. Don't do that. This is the solution. Get them done up nice and tight so they're not going anywhere. Get your flippy, floppy, flappy, rubbery gasket, protective layer, pop it on there and just to try and line that up with those holes. And then once again, with the screws provided, I'm gonna pop those in. Look at that, bright and shiny. But this actually, um, moves, if you're careful, to three different positions with a nice strong spring under there. So that's not going anywhere once you uh, place it where it needs to be. Bosh. Oh, then you get a further, a further out view of your own face. Finally, adjust your mirror to suit. Get your Allen key and tighten up that bolt that was on that ball jointy looking, whatchamacallit, under here. And that will set you up nice strong and steady for your cruising on the motorway at approximately 60 miles per hour or whatever you can hit in your T <laughs> T25. Um, I failed to mention that there is a second kind uh, of these mirrors, the extra large. It's got a lower concave mirror that lets you see into your blind spot and see everything you would want to see behind you. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for those. They are very cool. Um, right, well, we may as well wrap it up here because we have successfully fitted these. Um, thank you for watching. If you want one, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, Kevin. Miss you. It's hot in it. 27 degrees, Ed. Woo! They yeah, are, what do you reckon? I reckon they're nice, actually. They are nice. Functional. Is that Functional. the word? Functional. Functional. Yeah. And functionable. Functionable and functional. <laughs> they're quite nice, aren't they? Lean in, lean in. Thanks for watching. Another one of Adam's great videos. Stop it. <coughs> See you on the next one, guys. See you on the next one. There's a link down below if you want one of Love these. Love you all. Love you all. And uh, uh, my new line of uh, autograph t-shirts are going out soon. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. It stinks of arse over here. <laughs> I did let. I did rip some arse. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Took a big whiff of that. <laughs>